Hi, I'm Bob Jensen. This is Mike Frisch. This is Fish in the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. We're at Hanay's Marine in the Twin Cities. Uh, Hanay's is the biggest Larson dealer in the world. But Mike, these folks at Hanay's can really take care of an angler or a boarder's needs, can't they? Absolutely. You know, they've got a ton of FX, like you said, the largest FX dealer in the world. But in addition, they've got parts, they've got great service. They take care of the angler. They do. And talk about taking care of the angler, crankbaits are a great way to go fishing in a lot of different situations. Absolutely they are, Bob. And you know, crankbaits come in a lot of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the different kinds of crankbaits. The first one is this lipless rattle bait. And you know, the lipless rattle bait has been around a long time and I know you use them a lot for shallow water bass. Tell us a little bit about that. When the bass are active in the shallows, much of the time it's in the summer or early, or early in the summer or early in the day, late in the day, and the bass are up in these shallow flats and you can fish it almost like you would a buzz bait. You cast it out, uh, heavier rod, you know, a uh, uh, medium to medium heavy rod. Uh, I don't know, 14, 17 pound P-line uh, tactical, something like that, and just reel it right underneath the surface, and man, when they're aggressive, they just smack that thing. You know, Bob, they do, and another thing that I've done with the red-eye shad in that situation is reel it back and then pause it, and when this red-eye shad has a really seductive fall on the pause, lots of times those fish will chase it, you pause it, bam, it's game on. We started using that red-eye a lot this year, and man, it catches fish. Absolutely, and the other thing about it, Bob, is it catches fish vertically fished as well. You can use it open water bait, lift and let it fall again, that seductive fall, but it's a nice fishing bait as well. I know, I know. It, there's a lot of ways to catch fish with those things, a lot of ways to fish it. But you know, when it comes to crankbaits in general, you can't beat a diving crankbait like a, oh, like a sexy shad or something like that. Absolutely, Bob. That lucky shad is a bait. I mean, look at this, that perch colored natural looking bait. It's just a, a beautiful looking bait, almost jewelry. Absolutely, and the thing about it is, and one of the things I like about the Lucky Shad is it's got a longer bill, a little bit bigger bill than some of our other shad baits, and it dives a little bit deeper. We used it to catch some walleyes this summer. Let's take a look at that action. Oh! What? Nice. We did not have him real good, but we got him. Man, that little Lucky Shad is a great looking bait, and it does catch him. There you go, Jeff, I'll let you hold him. You caught him. What do you think of that? That's nice. It's a good way to start, isn't it? Yeah, five minutes in, here we go. Yep. You know, Strike King is often thought of as a southern company, a bass company. They make some really, really nice walleye crankbaits in addition to the Lucky Shed. Absolutely, Bob. You know, here's another bait that is one that we caught a bunch of fish with. This is a bonsai shad. This is a bigger banana shad. And like you said, these baits have walleye catching action written all over them and the shape as well. Yeah, and but you know, so much of the time we talk about the shape of the bait and the shape is certainly an important thing. But we, we think of long, thin baits like the Lucky Shad as being a, uh, a walleye bait that shape. Bass like them too. Oh, absolutely. You know, a shad bait is actually one of my favorite cold water crankbaits for largemouth bass. How come cold water? Well, it's got a little tighter wiggle, and so some of our bigger, fatter, bigger lip baits have more of a, you know, side to side, they displace more water. But early in the season or late in the fall when the fish, maybe they're not chasing as much, that tighter wiggle of that lucky shad, it catches the heck out of largemouth too. We were talking a little bit ago about how nice that perch colored lucky shad looks. How important is color to you? Well, you know, Bob, a few years ago, not that many years ago, before the advent of zebra mussels, a lot of lakes that I fish have really, really clear water. We used to use that old kind of gold, silver, and clear water, the brighter fluorescence in dark water. Now, however, with the really, really clear water, these really more natural patterns, that perch pattern that we talked about earlier. Another bait that I had a ton of success with this year is what's called Crystal Shad with a pink belly. But Strike King does a great job in their walleye series as well as their bass series presenting the right colors. In that clear water in particular, detail becomes a big deal. Detail on the bait itself. Absolutely, Bob, it does. In addition to some of the other bites that we had, we showed earlier uh, a fall bite for walleyes. We were out on Lake Sakakawea this summer and we trolled some crankbaits there. Check out this action. It's not coming to the surface yet. That's a good sign. Yeah, but it's not doing a lot of head shaking either.
Can you sneak in there? I can. That's a good fish, Jason. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thank you. That other line come out of there? Let me get that on. Oh. Well, there we go. A little bit bigger than the first one. Yeah, but back, that was a good bite, Mike. That was a good bite. But back to the original question. For me, color at times is a huge consideration. You know, sometimes it doesn't matter. When the fish are really aggressive, really biting, color maybe not make that much difference. But when they're finicky, and on some days and on some lakes, they want a particular color. And I think it's important if there's two people in the boat trolling or three people in the boat trolling or casting or whatever, everybody use a different color until you find out what the fish want. Absolutely. And you know, the other part of that, Bob, is in states where we're allowed multiple lines using planter boards so you can really spread your trolling past. You can present a whole bunch of baits and like you said, figure out the one that the fish want. Yep. When we come back, we'll talk bass crankbait selection and we'll have some hot action in very cold water for largemouth bass. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Hanes Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanes Marine. Ray Marine, Marine Electronics, Ray Marine, simply superior. Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Hanes Marine is the largest Larson FX dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher and Larson Escape. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hanes Marine, keeping you on the water. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shelf found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XTH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XT hideout, on up to the ever-popular XT and XT Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie my own. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really have to tie one. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexilar.com. So Bob, we talked about that longer, a little bit thinner bait, generally being a good walleye bait, bass lead at some too. But when we think of bass, lots of times we think shorter, fatter baits. We do. And a lot of that goes back to select a bait that resembles the fish that you're after. You know, a bass oftentimes will eat shorter, fatter, bluegills, crappies, shad, that sort of thing. Walleyes eat longer, thinner, suckers, red tails, perch, that sort of thing. But if somebody said, you're going bass fishing today and you got to choose a crankbait to use, I'd go with the shorter, fatter one. What about you? Absolutely, Bob. You know, the baits that, that I've been using for the last several years are the Pro Model Series from Strike King. And the great thing about these baits is the Pro Model Series comes in a variety of sizes, but they're all shorter, fatter baits. But the cool thing is they have baits that run to, to about just about any fishing depth you want to fish. This is a, 
uh, Model 3 or a Series 3. That's a bait that dives a little bit shallower. Here's a Series 5, dives a little bit deeper. So the Pro Model Series of crankbaits, they've got a bait that'll go just to any depth you need it to go. And again, the paint, the color, the <laughs> detail is just outstanding, isn't it? Absolutely, Bob. You know, this right here is neon bluegill, and man, if I was a bass, I'd eat that, <laughs> you know? But that's the other thing, and we talked about it before, clear water, a lot of lakes, clear water, weeds grow deep. So some of these bigger baits, like the Series 5, the S Series 5 XD, the extra deep, get down to those deep at weed edges. But these colors that Strike King's got, they got some perch patterns as well. Man, they do a great job of mimicking the bait fish, and they catch the heck out of largemouth bass. Are rattles important to you? Some days they are, some days they aren't. It seems to me when the fish are aggressive, I love the rattle, but they also make a silent series as well. Rule of thumb, dirty water, rattle baits, clear yes. water, quiet baits. Yes, and the other thing too is a little later in the fall, sometimes when the fish get a little more finicky, let's say, I'll go away from the rattle as well. You know, I know that you fish crankbaits a lot this past fall for largemouth bass. Oftentimes we think colder water, slower presentation. How did you catch them on crankbaits in that cold water in the fall? You know, Bob, one of the things that I've found as you get into November, that water gets into that upper 40s, maybe mid 40s, crankbaits will still catch them and they'll catch some of the bigger fish in the system. Let's check out some of this action. There's your weed line, your edge of it. That's the stuff we're targeting. So here's what we're doing today. We're well into November and we're out on the deep weed line chasing largemouth bass with a crankbait. Across the Midwest this year, we're fishing in central Minnesota today, but across the Midwest, we had a beautiful fall, prolonged fall, it was nice. The last five days, things have tanked. Today, we're out here, the water temperature is, there's a fish, the water temperature is in the <laughs> mid 40s. And what we're doing is we're cranking what's left of the deep weed line. And what's happened is the water went from the low 50s to the mid 40s in just a matter of days. And these fish are pretty lethargic. Like you saw, that fish just kind of loaded the rod. He really never hit it. But it's still a great time. You can still catch fish. The key for us is finding good weeds. We're out on a flat that dumps into the basin and there's a good weed line left and there's still bass out here and a crankbait, a deep diving crankbait. We're using a Strike King Pro Model 5X Deep, the Extra Deep series, and we're catching fish. There's one. Ooh, this feels like a good one. Oh, look at that one. Let's net this guy. Let's net this guy. Oh, he is barely hooked. <laughs> Look at that guy. There, folks, is why you brave 30 degree weather in November to come chase largemouth bass with a deep diver out on the weed line. Right there is the edge of that weed line. There you can see we still got some, some weeds that are up living there coming all the way up to 10 feet. That's what we're targeting, that drop off edge. Way out at the end of the cast, just a little guy, just a little guy. But another <laughs> November largemouth. And you know what? Even though I'd love to end the year on a bigger fish, that might be the last one. Mike, that looked like a cold day. <laughs> it was. You know it's a cold day, Bob, when your line is starting to freeze on your reel. But hey, the fish were biting. Crankbaits are certainly good open water fish catchers. When we come back, we'll be on the ice chasing walleyes. Fishing in the Midwest is made possible by Strike King, Tie One On, Vexilar, Own the Ice, Core Ice, Built for Life, the way you live it, Beckman Nets, Beautiful Cabotogama Lake.
gateway to Voyagers National Park. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends. And Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, I'm trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Was he like about 20? Oh, 15. Was he? Can I do anything? You got it? Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Mike, you've been out in this like, oh, several nights now, as I understand it. And these fish are pretty patternable as far as timing. Yeah, they really are, Bob. It's you know, it's kind of the, the hour when everything happens in the outdoor world. Yep. Whether you're a hunter, angler, whatever, right at that that sunset mark is when they bite. So today we're fishing with some of the revolutionary new glow shot spoons with the interchangeable glow shot sticks. Here's how they work. Inserting the glow shot stick into the glow shot spoon. Well, it's really simple. They come through to a package in various colors, so you can change out your color. You take one out of the package, you break it, which is simple, you shake it, and once you shake it, it's ready to insert into the spoon. And that's really simple. Just take the spoon and click the stick into the spoon, and you're ready to fish. Pop it out, you take the tool that comes with the jig, and you simply pop it out, and you're ready to change colors. Simple. Not very big, but just about in that eating size walleye yep. range, yep. 14 inches probably. Where'd he hit? Where'd he eat? Got that uh, glow buckshot. Oh, yeah, most low one. Mike, I'm rigged up the same as you. We've got uh, uh, XTCB braid as our main line, like 15 pound test. We've got it down here to a little swivel, and then to that swivel, we're attaching uh, a fluoro ice. I've got eight pound fluoro ice on there, and then to that, we just put a uh, small snap. What is the advantage of using this hybrid setup line and or, or braid and fluorocarbon? Well, first thing that I love about braid is. It's more sensitive. When that fish hits, I mean, these bites tonight have not been 
real aggressive bite. So a lot of these fish will just swim out and grab it. And you can feel it with braid. The floral ice, which is a nylon line with a fluorocarbon coating, so you get the invisibility properties of fluorocarbon, but it handles really well and it's good, strong, tough line as well. So Today we're with Elliot Richards of Richards Fish House Rentals. Here's more about what they offer. Um, we're located just west of Alexandria. Um, we don't fish one particular lake. Uh, we try to stay on a hot bite. Um, and with that, you know, sometimes guys will want to be on a crappy bite. Sometimes will be, guys will want to be on a walleye bite. And we try to move lakes and accommodate that for people. Uh, we have sleeper houses as well as dark house spearing. Um, as you can see, we have both two and four person houses. We'll take you out. We set the houses out. We drill the holes. The heat's on when you come. You just have to come in and enjoy yourself. Stay tuned for more ice fishing action. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Evinroot, the outboards that are changing everything. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. P-Line, because we fish. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. K-Drill Ice Augers, drilling ice will never be the same. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home, or at least your home away from home. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine. Ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity and premium fluorocarbons including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. When they come through, they really come through, don't they? Don't, I mean, they just, is that a better one, Mike? Yeah, this is a better one. Is it? Oh, that's a nice fish, Mike. Another one in that eating range. You know, you got that glow shot spoon down there, and it seems like they come up to it. It's almost like that thing calls them in and then they come over and they eat that middle one. Mike, we've had a lot of fish come up and look here in the past hour or so. The weather is, and this is not a good fishing day, but it seems like 
we've kind of figured them out a little bit. What was it you did with that last one and these last three, I guess? Well, what happened, Bob, is last night we had a better bite. We had a little stable conditions, and now it's really dropped into the deep freeze tonight. And last night they came in and they hit the glow shot spoon. Tonight it seems like they'll come in and they'll look at it, but it's maybe it's a little too much action for them, you know, that aggressive jigging, and even I've just been trying to twitch it. That spoon gets their attention, but the holes are close enough where it gets their attention, but they just don't want that aggressive presentation in these weather conditions. They'll go over and eat this barrel. Yep, absolutely. We are fishing out of a core ice fish house today. The hybrid wheel skid system and super lightweight composite panel construction of the core ice fish houses are game changing technologies in the hard sided fish house game. We'll have more on these revolutionary new houses in a future episode. It's a nice one, Mike. Here's a little shot walleye. Look at that guy. Got their line wrap, but it's quite all right. Ooh, that is a nice one. Look at that Look guy. Look at that. Ah. It's a glow shot walleye. That's a nice fish. Look at Boy. that belly on that. Yeah. You said that one came in a glow shot spoon, Mike? Yeah, it did, Bob. You know, there's a lot of different types of spoons out there, and they come in all sorts of different colors and shapes. And we've got the glow shot spoon here and the buckshot rattle spoon. When do you use one over the other? Well, Bob, the, the buckshot rattle spoon, in my mind, is still the gold standard. But a couple years ago, Northland Watt brought out the buckshot flutter spoon. It's got a little slower, more of a fluttering action. A different shape? Yep. That rattle spoon fishes heavy, fishes aggressive. The flutter spoon, more of a fluttering action. That flutter spoon, I use that a lot on perch and it's been dynamite. To get in tonight, like now it's you know pitch dark out, that spoon with that glow really takes over. And now the new glow shot spoon has a fluttering action like the bug shot flutter spoon, but now it's got that glow stick and it's dynamite. Like we saw that last walleye, you know, here it is, it's it's dark, that fish came in. And it flutters so it displaces a little bit of water, you know, as it falls and that sort of thing. Now, you see, I've got this new box from, from Tack Logic, brand new company, and it allows you to really keep your bait separate. But watch this. Roll in there, look at there, you turn upside down, and they stick. So, what I can do is I can see the colors real easily, identify them real easily, and you're not digging through. You know, you're not tangled up all the time. I mean, these are individual baits and they just come out of there just like that. So, uh, it, it, it's from Tack Logic, it does a really nice job, and now the baits aren't bumped into each other, they're not chipping, that sort of thing. There you go. How long did you let, let that one go? Ellie? You know, Bob, after I missed the first couple, yep. um, it seems like quite a bit lighter bite here, and uh, I let them take it for a little bit longer this time. A nice 16 incher. Um, you know, I said big fish this time, but when you miss a couple in a row, I feel like I cried wolf a little bit, but uh, hey, I'm one for three finally here. Uh, got on the board again, and uh, I'm happy with him. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.